Kenya Kwanza government is no less than an animal farm. If you've ever read that book by George Orwell or its translation Shambala Wanyama. Barely a few days after William Ruto forced members of parliament to pass the punitive finance bill 2023, he is now proposing measures to guard the citizens from demonstrating, from protesting, because he knows very well that prior to the passing of this bill, Kenyans had pronounced themselves that they didn't want it because the taxes are just too high. Kenyans did not want the 1.5% deduction on housing, whatever, and the 8% increased VAT on fuel products. As we speak now, the Energy Regulatory Authority is planning to increase the prices of fuel. The Matatu Owners Association have announced that they are going to increase the prices. And we don't blame them because any time you increase prices on products, it will be passed to the consumers. That is where we are. So today, through the Ndaira Member of Parliament, Geoffrey Ruku, the Kenya Kwanza regime has decided to introduce another punitive bill that is aiming at gagging Kenyans. We are going back to the dark days, the Nyayo era. It is reported there that MP Geoffrey Ruku proposes bill to regulate conduct of demonstrations. To regulate conduct. The drafters of the new constitution knew very well that as Kenyans, sometimes we are pushed to the wall and we were given an authority of picketing and demonstrations within certain parameters as long as demonstrations are peaceful, you're not carrying any weapons and you don't pose any threat. And the bill forces the police and compels the entire security personnel to protect those who are demonstrating as well as those who are not taking place in demonstrations, their businesses and their lives. So it is said that the uh, North Member of Parliament, Geoffrey Ruku, has proposed a bill to Parliament that proposes on measures to regulate how picketing and protests are conducted. Even before I move on, your guess is as good as mine and you know why this is happening. Kindly subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time. And to those who support us, I want to say thank you, Asante Nisana. Now, I just want us to, in a summary, give you what Geoffrey Ruku is saying. In this proposed bill, they are saying that those who engage in demonstrations, if at all they will destroy any property, then they are liable for a jail term of one year. I agree with this totally. Because even in the constitution, we are expected to conduct peaceful demonstrations because the essence of demonstration is to force the government to listen to us. And I want to applaud the Zimir because they have always said and emphasized that they want peaceful protests. The only problem I have with this proposal is the manner in which it is being proposed because we know the conduct of the government. It is now in the public domain that the government will always sponsor goons to destroy property. If this is a confession from one of their own, the former Nairobi uh, governor, Mike Sonko, that they would buy t-shirts, branded Odin t-shirts, destroy property, harass people in the street so that it can be blamed on the opposition. And so in as much as this proposal is good, we must know how to, to, to guard, against, guard against the government side, not to interfere. Just recently you know that the Kenya Kwanza team sponsored goons and invaded Uru's Northern Farm. They, they, they torched uh, mosques and, 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 and uh, churches. 
So this proposal is good, but they themselves are guilty of perpetrating the same same atrocities that they are trying to avoid. It also says that the organizers will pay for any damages. For example, if Raila and the uh, entire Zimio fraternity, people like Mata Karua, Oparanya, Jeremiah Kioni, all those, if they call for demonstrations and uh, the, 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 the demonstrators destroy the property, then the Zimio will be charged for it. This is something that I agree, but I don't want to repeat that we must also know how to set a break to the government side because they are guilty of this and very notorious. They are saying that there will be no carrying of placards, banners, and they even say that if there is any speech that is seen to be inciting hatred, then they won't allow. You know, wacha tuongi ukweli bana. Utamu wa mandamano ni kubeba hizo mapango. For example, if I want to demonstrate against the punitive taxes, sasa wananiambia, siyezi beba, bango limeandiku hapo, no taxes. We say no to punitive taxes. We say no to 3%. I mean, hiyo itakuwa mandamano inagani tusicheziane bana. Let us be very serious here. The best way to demonstrate and the, the, the spices are those mandam are those banners and placards and the songs Ruto must go those are things that are spices kwa hivyo hii hii ni mchezo who ni mchezo let me speak uh, kiswahili sanifu who ni mchezo they're joking with us they will t they tell us that any speech that is uh, that, that is interpreted to be inciting hatred will not be allowed interpreted by who because now if they pass this when you sit there or stand before the people and say Ruto must go then they will say that you are now inciting people uh, to remove a government that is legitimately in office this is something that we cannot allow then they're saying that there will be designated places for conducting demonstrations for example mkitaka kwenda kuandamana mtaambiwa for example mmepewa uh, maybe city stadium and you are told go lock yourself within city stadium fanyeni vitu mnataka kufanya sisi hapa tunaendelea na kazi how is that possible they will be selecting for you one street you see let us not pretend if there's something i don't like is pretense the essence of demonstration is to compel the government to listen to her people how then will they feel the pain if they direct us somewhere in, in Ngong and they, 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 they confine us in certain places and tell us and they lay in a mandaman? It's not possible. It's not them to direct us and tell us we should go this far. We want to bring business to a standstill. That is what usually happens. Those who go, whether they the international demonstrations, they always want to bring business to a standstill. So that the government can feel that there is loss of revenue. That is when they will sit down. This kind of proposals cannot work. And, and, and Mr. Ruku should know that his attempts will not be allowed. I know they can pass it. They have the numbers. But did you know that even during the Nyayo era, such laws were there. In fact, they were not allowed. The opposition were never allowed even to go to the streets. And they were running battles with the police. But... In 1991, just a year after the Sabasab had started, Moi bowed down to pressure and they repealed Section 2A. So, Ata Easy will not work. The other one is that the police with a, a rank which is above inspector will be given authority to stop any gathering and any, any demonstration at will. That when a police who is above, with when a police with the, with, with the, uh, 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 a rank above the inspector will just look at you five of you and you you're looking in a manner suggesting that you can cause chaos for example there's a place where you chill after work there's a place where during the weekends or holidays you just decide to to sit down there then the police will simply come and tell you tongaba and when you think it's a joke, they have gone for reinforcement, 
mnajazwa kwa gari na mnaenda just like that and so do you know what that means kukula hongo it will be you know perpetuating corruption because ukishikwa utakuwa natolewa hapo they will be doing it anyhow and then they will not allow because you can see for example if you have a police who's a staunch supporter of William Ruto at Gedi Geshagwa those who shot at his vehicle 10 times and they were saying on the street that leo tulikuwa nataka kumuua how do you think they will allow any demonstrations don't you think this is a joke and then they are saying that uh, you must be given the permission and of course that has been there there isn't anything like permission you only inform the police and they're supposed to give you security so such, such kind of 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 of, of uh, bills in parliament only demonstrate that this government is afraid because they know they have uh, messed up with the people the people who elected them are now crying for and they are saying they are ready to do anything to stop the government but there's something that they are forgetting the drafters of the constitution were led by the pastor currencies If you see nations where there are a lot of of attempted coups is because their freedom has been curtailed. When you don't give people a breathing space, they don't have any freedom to do demonstrate. What comes in their mind is to try and regroup and topple a government. And when we head to that direction, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Kenya will be to be Kenya again. You will see a certain group trying to topple Ruto's government. And when they manage Ruto can even try like you remember the, the history in Uganda it is Obote it is Amin it is Museveni such kind of things and we have seen it even in the recent past let William Ruto not be deluded that whatever is happening in other countries cannot happen here for a long time we did not know that Kenya could plunge into turmoil but what we witnessed a test of what we witnessed in 2007 was a lesson and an eye opener to us Kenya is not indispensable. It is by the grace of God that we have enjoyed this peace and let us not play around with it. William Ruto must not play around with this because we have just one country. He may think that he's got the power he can fly anyhow. But sometimes things happen miraculously, spontaneously that before you know it, before you fly out, they are with you. You can manage to fly out, but you have family members. This is something that must be avoided at all cost it is happening because raila has said that we are going to chart a way forward on 7th of july it is happening because raila has started getting a million signatures to speak to this government it is happening because raila is responding to people's calls disgruntled members of citizens who are saying we are tired of this government we are tired because there are promises that we were given we can't see them happening corruption is the word of the day high taxes the word of the day insecurity the word of the day and raila is telling them if you are ready let us go and this is what is scaring them even if they pass all these people will still go to the streets let me tell you this with authority when people decide even today that they are going to state house do you know they will reach status and occupy that place and i know what you are thinking you can kill 200,000 300,000 but when they decide a million will reach status let me tell you ladies and gentlemen we are going to should thank raylo dinga because this man is too much peaceful that he might not see the uh, the 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 the, the, the status as a president because of his love for this nation William Ruto witnessed it in 2007 when the military told Raila you are taking this thing ex soldiers went to Raila and they were ready to swear in Raila but the love for the nation has messed people up i can assure you we would have even divided this nation long time ago but there is a heart that Raila has it has cost him his precious moment to lead this country but it has also saved many who have been dead let me tell you for any emancipation to take place blood must be shed 
when we kicked out Wabeberu, the colonial masters, blood had to be shed. When we were fighting for the second liberation, for multipartism, blood had to be shed. Raila does not want to see bloodshed. There are leaders in this country who cannot listen even when millions of people are dying. This bill is unpopular and it must not be allowed to see the light of the day. But even if they coerce their way, Kenyans have the power. We have the power. We are the people. We shall overcome.